1980, Mick Zane from the band Malice, who wasn't formed yet, and I took a trip down to our friend Kip Doran's house in Santa Rosa, California. And during that trip, Mick and I took a couple of little side shoots down to San Francisco, the city. We saw on July 4th, we saw G.E. Smith and Squeeze, and I saw a cardboard sign that said Motorhead Monday. And it was a cardboard sign, like they took a beer box and just used it. Uh, El Marco pen back then and wrote the name. I said, we got to come back on Monday. So uh, when we first got to Santa Rosa, Kip was playing in a band called uh, uh, Arson. And uh, uh, one of the guys that designed the Sinclair, the keyboard thing, he was in the band. Another guy worked for Lemmick that was in the band, and uh, they are great. And I met uh, Paul Horowitz, the keyboard player that was playing with Alice Cooper when Winger was playing uh, bass with Alice Cooper. And I met his sister, and uh, Kip knew all these people already. He knew Eric Martin. Eric Martin from Mr. Big was there. I talked to him, and... We saw his picture when we took the Wild Dogs Man Best Friend album cover in the same studio, Pat Johnson. Hi, Pat. How are you? Pat's been on my podcast, and uh, he has taken pictures of everybody. I mean, literally everybody. And uh, But uh, this song I wrote, there was a girl that somehow I, oh, I know, I just decided to go to, no, I, I met some girl walking around downtown Santa Rosa, and she said, meet me at this club tonight. And so I drove down there, hung out for a bit, and I'm what's horrible at the uh, pick-up and make-out guy kind of thing. <laughs> Too obvious or something. But um, I went back and wrote a song that night, and it was called Give It To Me, Give Me All You Can. Give It To Me, Give Me All You Love. And I... Recorded with Mick and the drummer from the Ravers before the Ravers. It's one of the songs that got me the album deal that Rob Sample worked. This is called Give Me All You Can. Or maybe it's, I think I put it down as Give It To Me. <laughs> but uh, here, it's got Mick Zane on lead guitar playing a 19, I think a 1957 Les Paul flat top. It was a really cool guitar. And he had it painted black when he got into Malice. Had P90s. It was a great guitar. And we recorded it at uh, Pink Floyd's Soundman's studio here in Portland, Oregon. Dave. Can't remember his last name, but Rob Sample was the producer. And uh, we did Married to Me and this song. I played bass, Brad played drums, and Mick played guitar. I might have played rhythm guitar too. I don't remember. Here we go. Okay. 